welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Mike from Addis Ababa University today I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem as you can see this problem is about the motions of constrained particle before starting today's tutorial if you are new for educational you make sure to subscribe our youtube channel in order to access every engineering problem solutions that are very important for engineering and uh, for different grade level students maybe high school uh, or university or uh, preparatory student when you can see this problem later uh, we can ask to determine the speed of cylinder b if the cylinder b moved downward with a speed of 4 feet per second square we can simply calculate uh, this uh, uh, speed of cylinder b by using the concept of the motions of the constraint of motions so uh, when before uh, doing this problem we must uh, express the constant length between c e d and a c e d f when you can see uh, the path c e d c a d this length is we can need s c plus s c v when from this we can calculate s c and we will get in terms of the length of s c d e then for the path a c d f as you can see here a c d f this shape when you can see this shape we will get uh, the distance in terms of s c c is s a minus s c plus s c minus s c plus s c v octagonal s a plus 2 s c v minus uh, 2 s c then simply we can substitute uh, s c c from here and we can get uh, simplified this after simplifying this s a plus 4 s c v 1 s l s s c d f plus 2 l s c d e it is a simplified form by substituting the value of s c c uh, then uh, simply we can differentiate these lengths and we can calculate the acceleration and the velocity of block a or block b so when you can differentiate it uh, we can simply calculate the velocity of block b with respect to time when, when you can differentiate this, this we can find the velocity of a when you can differentiate this we can find the velocity of b it's also constant because it's not changing it's uh, constant so 4 plus 4 p p is equals to 0 then finally we get the velocity of block p is equals to minus 1 feet per second square so it is all our question number 4 it is very simple problem first we can express the constant length in terms of uh, its length then we can substitute the value and by differentiating it we will get the velocity and also another problem okay it's all about this question if you have any question you can put it in a comment section next we'll do question number five until that have a nice time if you like this video you should subscribe to the channel and share it for <laughs>